Hello everyone, this is a, an informative video for anyone who is interested in this pump. So this is a ground FOSS UPM3. I had a problem with this pump and to start with it was seized. You know, if you don't use it for a while they seize up. Now that's got quite a good impeller in there. Anyway, they seize up. So what they say is put a screwdriver through and then do that. Now the problem is, is they've, they've made a really poor design here because the screw is made of mild steel. And um, it's not very good. I mean, if the C, if the pump is C solid, what good is that? You've got to really put pressure on it. And if it wears away, what's the point? You need some, you need a good screw that can really move this thing. Anyway, just for information, I'll show you how to remove, remove that. You just give it a whack there with a rubber mallet, and you can get that out. And this is what seizes in here. That seizes. Now, incidentally, that screw is not not moving. Oh, you have to push it. You have to push the screw and then do it. Maybe I can show you. Hang on. Like I said though, the screw is, is very bad quality. Um, have I got the correct screwdriver for that? Well, I can't find it at the moment. But anyway, um, so that's how you would seize it anyway, unseize it anyway. You put a screwdriver through. And you could do it through the body while it's on. Anyway, the video is not really about that. So I had that problem, but the video is not about that. Right, so on top of that, you've got this. And to remove it, to remove it, what you, what you do basically is... Uh, Put a, a screwdriver in there and lever it off. Lever it off wherever you can and give it a good tap here with a mallet and it will come off. So when it comes off, you then uh, have this and you have this fascia thing here. Now, <clears throat> now, another bad design, in my opinion, is that it's not really serviceable. So what they've done is they've put this fascia thing over here and super glued it in so you can't do anything with it. So I... You know, that was on there. I got a chisel. Put the chisel on the top there and give it a few good bangs until it released. And uh, as you can see, I broke it as well, which maybe it can be super glued back together, I don't know. Now in there, you have this little faceplate thing, which is the manufacturer, which is a sticker going over that. And then you have this thing, which appears to be some sort of waterproofer. And then inside you actually have the circuit board. And it's a circuit board that I, that I really want to focus on. So when I open this up, it's obvious to me that somewhere along the lines a seal had gone. Now, I suspect it's that seal in there. Because water had got past there somehow, and water doesn't come from anywhere else. So, <coughs> yeah, so, so it's this PCV. Now, like I said, you're not supposed to service this, and they don't really let you, you have to break the seal. So, a bit silly, but, um, you know... It technically is serviceable because you, some of these parts here you can just unsolder and, um, and and repair it and they don't want you to do it for some reason. Anyway, getting to the point, there was a lot of moisture, uh, the boards are not laminated and the moisture was here. I've cleaned it up quite a lot now so you can see. Um, this appears to be a fuse but I'm not entirely sure and it looks like, it, it looks like there's a via that goes there and it looks like to me... Let me just check that. Yeah, it looks like maybe that's broken. Just scratch a bit of that away. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. In fact, where's my voltmeter? Let me check. Um, seeing my electrical oh there it is it's on the desk okay so it was here right so um let's just check the resistance between those two those two points and we'll see so we're going to go from that via there to here yeah so it is connected there's no problem there no oh, it's the fuse dead though yeah the fuse is blown Right, okay, so the fuse would need to be replaced, and also I damaged a tiny trace there which I could fix. So, the fuse is dead. Now, sometimes you replace the fuse and it just blows again because of some sort of internal problem, but sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it's some sort of just freak accident and never happens again. So actually, this is very repairable. It just needs to have the fuse changed, and then maybe it'll work. Um, but the reason why I wanted to do this video is because... I looked for help online when I had a, an electrical problem with this and I couldn't find a single video 
that uh, that's shown the board uh, or how to service it and that's why I'm making the video so I'll change the fuse in that <coughs> and probably glue this back together and it might work now another thing I found is that there's water ingress in this uh, unit now look at this here it's like a dusty dusty liquid now I don't really know how that could have got in there. Could it have got in through the front? Well, not really, because water doesn't come on the front of the unit. It's, it's got to come from the back. So, um, how does this get on? goes on there. Now, there's a seal there, and there's a seal there. Now, water, water shouldn't be in here either, but somehow water has got in it through the front. Uh, water's nowhere near there, so and the front is sealed so the only other place really is through that hole there so if water was to get through that hole and into there then that would explain it however there's a seal here so you know there's a seal there now water is all around here but there's a seal and that seal protects this area and this area is dry so I don't suspect that what I think's happened is I think water is getting into the impeller through the shaft and through that there, through that screw, and that's how it would get into there. But it's just a guess, you know. It's just a guess, and I think it's vapor as well. Um, no, I could be wrong, but that's just what I've what I found. So, yeah, I thought I would um, show this video because there's pretty much nothing online about this model. So, I hope it helps. Bye.